Right then guys, this next video is the Power Rock Low Profile Air Cooler from Be Quiet. Now this is very, very small. It comes in at 92mm by 92 by 45mm. Now this is for low profile builds. Basically, very small form factor, MATX, very small builds. Now, of course, this has got a 100 watt TDP. It does come with some accessories, primarily just mounting because it's LJ1700, 1200, 1150, 1151, and 1155 compatible, as well as AM4 and AM5. So, what we'll do now is we'll get straight into the benchmarks and we will show you the thermals of this little tiny air cooler. Benchmarks I did A to 64, Cinebench R20, Blender Classroom, Blender BMW, and 3D Mark CPU test. Now, I did this primarily because uh, this is such a small air cooler, I wanted to give it as much torture as possible. So, for A to 64, this was a full 10 minute test. The idles were 31 Celsius, and the max was a 71. Cinebench R23, the idles were 36, the max was a 76 Celsius. Blender Classroom, the idles were 34 Celsius and the max was a 73. Blender BMW, idles were 34, max was a 70. 3D Mark CPU test, idles were 34 Celsius and the max was a 60. That is for in terms of thermals and the benchmarks. Okay then, so the Pure Rock low profile air cooler from Be Quiet. Very nice quality, German engineered. It, in terms of thermals, performed very well. For something this small, very, very well. I will give it to Be Quiet for a, such a small air cooler. I mean, it's only 92 mils. It is 42 millimeters thick. That is it. You can get fans that size. So, you know, that just goes to show how uh, very efficient this little air cooler is. Now, of course, the box is very small. It's tiny. And, of course, it does come with a, um, LGA 1700, 1200, 1150, 1151, and 1155 support, as well as AM4 and AM5. But this, is, this came out last year, the end of last year. So it's primarily for AM5 and LGA1700 support. Now, of course, this is such a small box, you'd think that the cooler was this size, but it's not. As you can see, look at the size differences between the cooler and the box. It's huge. The box is massive compared to that, and this is so small, and it, it looks rather striking. I love the initial look of this. It looks really, really nice. It looks quality and it performs very, very well. Mounting it was actually rather straightforward. What you need to do is take off the mounting on here. You use the stock AMD um, backplate that comes with AM4 motherboards. Then you attach the two arms on both on the top and the bottom and you screw it from the back of the mounting plate if you want to see a tutorial on how to install it please let me know in the comments and i will do that for you in terms of should you buy it well this is primarily for small form factor builds it's not for a build of this size it is for a small form factor build but of course you could buy it and put in a big case but then that is the whole point of a small, a very small, low-profile air cooler, is to have it in something that's got, uh, that's cramped, that's only got a certain amount of room. Should you buy it? I think so. I think it looks really nice. Overall, it really does depend on the person. It's subjective to anyone who's got a small form factor build and they're looking for something that's not RGB. 
because you know RGBs for gaming but overall very good air cooler it performed very well and the look is just fantastic but then again it's be quiet they do produce a lot of eye-catching products and I cannot wait to see what else they got in store so this is Richard from Welsh Tech. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And of course, I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.